flat on your feet. Bend the knees slightly, bring the hips slightly forward. Nice flat back. Let your head feel like it's being lifted upward, elongating the spine. Tuck the chin in just a little bit. Let the shoulders drop down and relax. Breathe in and out through the nose. Nice deep, deep abdominal breathing. As you breathe in, let the abdomen expand outward. Take a slight pause in the breath and then exhale, pushing from the abdomen all the way back up the body and out the nose. Let's start with knocking on the door of life today. We're just gonna start to turn from the waist. And as you get a little momentum, your arms will start to strike your body. Just let your body begin to loosen up. Remember in Qigong, we have what we call the 70% rule. We never wanna push to our maximum. We never want to be in pain. We never want to be uncomfortable. So we stay within the comfort zone always. We can't do the full posture, only do partial. And visualize doing the whole thing. The energy will move just the same. Look over your shoulder, get a little further around each time. Wake up those meridians, those energy pathways in the body. A little bit more. And slow it down, we move into water waves. The hands are just gonna move through the air. See if you can't feel the air going between your fingertips. See if you can feel the energy field surrounding you. And slow it down. Let's do a little work with the hands. So first off, what we're going to do is we're going to do like a karate chop. The hands are coming straight forward and you're going to do that really fast and vigorously. Very fast, very vigorous. See if you can't start to feel the fingertips getting heavier, fast as you can. Good. Now let's shake our hands forward. Turn the palms towards you and shake the hands. Turn the palms down and shake to the side. Bring your hands up. Reverse towards the back 
and palms down. Good. Put one palm over the other. So you've got your hands basically like in an X shape and you're gonna work them back and forth. And notice when you do that, the elbow comes up. We're gonna coordinate the elbow movement with the legs. So go to a nice wide stance. As the elbow comes up, you're gonna to lean to that side. And then you come back to the center as your hands come back to the center. Then reverse and just stand nice and straight. See if you can't build the friction in the hands, opening up the point we call the Lao Gung point. Point roughly in the center of your palm or you get a lot of energy coming out. Be considered one of the minor chakras. Rub your hands together. And now hold your hands together, interlace the fingers, put the arms together, forearms together, and turn figure eights. So opening up the wrist gates. And reverse. Ahead and hit the two sides of your hands together, stimulating the heart meridian. Using the knuckle of your thumb, you're going to hit into the V of your thumb, uh, between your thumb and your first finger. I'm trying to figure out here. So we're going to hit in like that. large intestine. And the opposite side. And then go ahead and hit the wrists together the outside of one against the inside of the other. And reverse. Put your hand on either elbow and just circle it around. Get a little friction there, stimulating all six meridians in the arm. And switch to the opposite side. With an open fist, go ahead and hit in front of the shoulder. This is stimulating lung one and lung two. Improved respiration in the immune system. Switch to the opposite side. Come around to the back of the neck and just tap in there. Ball bat or triple more warmer meridian. Good. One more posture to open up the necks, then sorry, the neck and the shoulders. Let's do um, dragon spreads its tail. 
So both hands to the left, I'll mirror you. Palms facing you. You're gonna turn the palms away from you. Push away from the body as you look over your right shoulder. As you breathe in, the palms turn back and come at you. As you breathe out, you push away. As the palm comes in, focus on the palm coming at you. When you look away, look to horizon. Don't lock out the elbow. Use push more with the heels of the hand. You'll feel that stretch much more coming all the way down as you turn your head. One more time. Bring it back to the center. Push the energy down to the ground. Moving what we no longer need. Bring fresh energy up and go to your right side. Push away. Look over your left shoulder. Breathe in as the hand comes back, focusing on that hand. Pushing away, look to the horizon. One more time. Turn it back into the middle. Push down to the ground. Let's continue to work down the body. Let's work a little more on the spine. We've got it to turn. So now we're going to do uh, spinal cord breathing. So the trick here is that the elbows and the arms come up. Your butt goes out. You're pushing your hips back and then lean back into it. Look to the ceiling and then pull the elbows down, moving the shoulder blades down and together. Breathe out. Arms come together, palms facing you, forearms touch. Hips move towards the elbows as you tuck the chin into the chest, stretching that whole back out the opposite direction. Take a little pause here in the breath, get a little extra stretch and breathe in. Stick the butt out, chest to the sky. A little extra stretch on the pause between the breaths. Breathe out. One more time, and then we're gonna move a little bit more into the hips. So this time as you come up, turn to your right and do the same thing. And then go back to the center and turn to the left. Just do both sides a couple times. more time each side. And back to the center. Go ahead, put your hands on your hips. Nice big hip rotation, stand nice and tall out of the hips and the waist. Okay. 
Make sure you hold in your abdomen. Keep your abdomen nice and tight. Protect the core, protect the lower back. Having nice, strong abdominal muscles. And reverse. And now let's do a little variation on this. We're gonna do figure eights. So you're gonna push your hip out, come across. Push the opposite hip out, come across. One of my instructors likens this to rollerblading or roller skating. I've never been much on skates, so I can't tell you. Now notice which hip is going forward and then to the side. Now we're going to switch. So the opposite. So it's sort of almost like if you were rollerblading, you're changing direction. One was going forward, the other was going back. Good. Go ahead and put your legs together. Put your hands on your knees. Rotate the knees. And let's reverse. Just drop down. Will you keep your feet together? You can bend your knees a little bit. Relax the head. Drop down as far as you're comfortable. Drop the head down. Relax the back of the neck. Can't touch your toes, that's fine. Not a big deal. I can't. With each breath, see if you can get a little bit lower. Each time you breathe out, let the breath take you down a little bit lower. Stretch out the back, the neck. The hamstring. Bend your knees. And push straight up. So we're not using our lower back. So we're lifting always with our knees, our legs, not back. So I'll just show you again when I'm down in this position. Go into a seated position and then come straight up. I'm not using the lower back at all. I'm stretching. I drop my butt and just push, push up. Notice my back didn't change at all. You want to do that when you're even when you're picking up packages. Too many people, when they go to pick up a package, do this. That's putting all the stress on your lower back. Just bend your knees, pick up the package, use your legs to lift the package. Good. All right. So let's do a little different posture than we've done before, but very similar. Go ahead and interlace your fingers, palms up. You're gonna bring the hand up the body. As it gets to the face, it's gonna rotate up. So now the palm is facing up. Go all the way up. Feel a nice stretch as you lean, as you reach for the sky. Feet close together on this. Now you're gonna rotate the hands back down, but keep rotating them so the, the I'm sorry, so the palms are down and drop all the way down as far as you're comfortable. So we breathe in, palms up, 
Rotate in front of your face, go back to palms up. Breathe out as we push it all the way down. Nice, long inhale, slight pause, and then a nice, long, slow exhale all the way down. Do one more. Lifting that energy up through the soles of your feet all the way up and out into the universe. Then gathering the energy from the universe, sending it back down to the earth. When you get to the bottom, stay there. Go to a wider stance. And again, just hang. Relax the neck, relax the shoulders, the back, just stretch it all down. All right, so we're gonna to turn to one side and we're gonna pick our heel up and we're gonna reach for the heel and try to bend down towards that Bend the opposite knee and just get a nice stretch in here. They call this Phoenix eats its ashes. Back to the center and then we go to the opposite side. The saying is for this one that when you Get to the point where you can touch your forehead to your toes. You'll feel like you're reborn. I wouldn't know. I've never gotten close as you can see. I'm sure many of you are doing better than I am, but. It's working with a number of the meridians that are coming in and out of the legs. Breathe in and breathe out as you go down, nice and long. One more time. Come back to center, stay nice, long, nice wide pose. This is called Tigress Crouches Down. Very simple, similar to what we've already done. All you're going to do is you're going to lean to one side. One leg stays nice and straight. The other one's going to bend. And you're going to look towards the leg that's straight. Try to keep your body as upright as you can comfortably do it. And then switch to the opposite side. So breathe in as we come to the center. Breathe out. So you can get a little lower each time, a little wider stance each time. One more time. And go ahead again and hang. Just relax. Hopefully things are starting to loosen up. 
Starting to feel that energy coming up the legs into the torso. Now reach across with your left hand, grab the outside of your right ankle and just turn and look up. Come back to the center and switch. Right hand grabs the outside of the left. Turn and look up. We're going to take this one step further. One more time. Back to the center. So with your right hand outside of the ankle, turn and look up and then bring the arm, the right arm up over your head. Then drop that down, switch across the opposite side and bring the opposite arm up. One more time. Sorry, each side. So going to move this side, the opposite side, back to the center. Again, just hang and relax. Walk it in, shake it out. Let's take this one step further. This is a Pretty well-known Qigong move. Um, snake creeps down is what it's called. So we go back to the wide stance. And it's very similar to what we've been doing. The idea here is like the lioness crouches, you're gonna, but you're gonna reach down with the hand along the leg that's flat. While the other hand comes up with a beaked hand and comes up. Then switch. One more each side. Good, bring it in. Shake it out. Let's do pressing palms. We're going to circle around, come into the prayer position. As the palms come down to your chest, you're going to sink down into it and really press the palms together. Breathe in as you come around, breathe out as you compress. One more time. Let's go up. I'm going to change it to what's called fireworks. So the hands come up, they turn out, and just imagine the explosion of fireworks. You're going to dip down, keeping the back nice and straight. Hands are going to cross, come all the way up, and explode outward. So the hands rotate and they cross. Breathe in, breathe out. One more time. Let's see if we can go up even a little higher. Let's do um, 
plucking a star to form the Big Dipper. So with your left hand, reach across your body. Then you're gonna come across your body as that arm comes up, all the way up, pluck that star. Take that starlight, spread it across the heavens. Grab that star energy, bring it across and back down to your body. And then we go with the other hand, cross, crossing up, pluck, spread the starlight out, grab that energy, pull it down. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. See if you can't feel your hand moving through the energy, grabbing more energy, spreading it out, gathering it up again, and then feel it coming down and entering into your body. One more time. Let's do bringing down the heavens three times. So the hands come up as you breathe in, scooping up the energy. As you breathe out, push it down the body, all the way into the ground. And then we do it again. Breathe in. Pause and breathe out, pushing that energy down the body down the torso, down the legs, out the bottom of the feet, deep, deep, deep into the ground. Gathering earth energy. Sending it down through the body. Good. Let's go right into flying. So, one of the, it's one of the nicest um, postures or flows. As you breathe in, just let your arms come up. No higher than the shoulders, probably not even quite high as the shoulders. Let the breath, as you're breathing in, let the breath pull the arms up. And as you breathe out, they float back down. So when you breathe in, the arm comes up like it's being lifted by the wrist and then it floats back down. So it's almost like you're in water. Nice and easy. Time it with the breath. Try to get it to the point where you feel like you're almost weightless. Lose touch with your arms. They just come up with the breath. There's no effort at all. Bring your feet a little closer together. Just keep going. Now as fluid as you can, so that it all just feels very natural. As the arms come up, just lift your heel 
off the ground. Keep the toe on the ground. So the heel just comes up and down with the arms, just all moves together. Notice when you go up onto your toe, your weight shifts into that opposite leg. So start getting used to that weight going into that leg. I call it the post leg. Bend the knee of the post leg as it starts to take that weight and so it can stabilize that weight. And again, just get into a nice rhythm with this. Now, if you're comfortable with this, as you come up to the last part, just lift your toe about an inch off the ground and then settle it back down. So keep that heel comes up first, then the toe lifts up, toe goes back down, then the heel. Don't try to lift the whole foot up. Just do it piece by piece, nice and gradual. Nice and fluid. Now, if that feels comfortable, it transitions to a posture we call crane soaring, where you don't end up putting down your leg at all. So you lift from the toe, from the heel, sorry, you lift up and they work together. Now with all these balance exercises, find a focal point about 12 feet in front of you. And just stare at that point. Make this nice and fluid. One more time. And down. Good, shake it out. Everybody's good? Thumbs up? No? Good, all right. Now, I didn't tell you which leg to do, so probably you picked the stronger side just because that's what the body does to protect yourself. So we're gonna switch this time. It's gonna be a little tougher. Do this in your own time. So do what's comfortable. So you're gonna start with the opposite, just going up and down, get into that pattern first. Then the heel comes up, keeping the toe on the ground. Then you lift the toe off an inch, finding that focal point. And then if you're comfortable, go into crane soaring. If you're not, don't worry about it. One more time and settle down. Good, shake the legs out a little bit. Let's go to crane stretches its wings. So legs a little bit close on the close side, about, I don't know, six inches to a foot apart. So a little narrower than usual. We're gonna come up Palms go to the outside, wrists cross, bring the arms all the way to your ears as you stretch upward. Then breathe out, they come down and they cross. Breathe in, they come all the way up. 
See if you can get your arms to touch your ears. One more time. And down, hands towards the earth. Go back to about the Wuji stance. See if you can feel the connection to the earth energy. As you breathe out, feel the energy coming out of the palms, going into the earth. As you breathe in, Bring the energy in through the palms, up the arms, into the torso. Let's go into Zen circles, a little wider stance, still feeling that energy. Drop the right hand, let the left hand come across your body and then float up, nice circle as you shift your weight and back down. So I'm not so much moving my arms side to side as my body's moving side to side. Breathing in as I go up breathing out as I come down. Um, more or less stays pointed towards the earth the entire time. As it's coming along the bottom, see if you can't feel the surface of like water running your palm across it. And it's sort of like the steam off the water raises your arm up, just kind of floats up and then it floats back down. One more time. And then we're going to switch. So this hand comes down, we're going to lean back, and then the other hand comes forward and up and around. Just let the flow happen. Good. Now the next time this hand comes around, both hands are going to come out. Just let them both go up and around. Moon over the lake. One more time, and then we're going to reverse. So it comes around, cross, and then we switch back.
One more time. And then we're going to come back to the center. Good. Reach back with your left hand, palm up, gather the energy up. Bring it around to the face. Then to your bicep, down the arm and out. Then the other arm, the right hand scoops back, brings the energy into the face, the head, and then down the arm. Pulse the monkey. Try to imagine gold light being brought into the head and then taking what you no longer need out of the head, out of the upper Dantian, pushing it down and out the arm. It's helpful. Picture gray smoke coming out of the fingertips, going back into the ground. One more time, each side. And go ahead and have the two palms face each other, holding a chi ball between them. As you breathe in, expand the ball a bit, about three inches or so. As you breathe out, bring the ball back. As you breathe in, breathe out. Feel that energy building between your hands, getting stronger. Walk it in a little bit. Now as you breathe in, see if you can get the ball to expand. And then work with a bigger ball. Good, now turn the ball to its side. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna roll the ball over, side to side, holding the moon. Maintain contact with the ball the entire time. Feel the edges of the ball as your hands move up and over the surface of the ball. And let's just play with the ball for a second. Just take it and let it go out and around. Turn it over. Just do kind of free form. Let the ball move you. Bring it back to the center. Put one palm, one hand under the other, supporting the ball. And push that ball into the body where your body needs it the most. So it could be your head, a shoulder, a knee, the heart. Push it all the way in and feel that energy come into the body wherever you chose to do that. Feel that heat enter the body and spread out from that point. Nice deep breath in, drop the hands, bring the feet together. 
right hand below the lower Dantian, left hand scoops up the energy, thumb and first finger separate, thumb points to the body and comes down the center line. When it gets to the bottom, it switches. Breathing in, breathing out. And as that hand comes down the body, see if you can feel the energy coming out of that space between the thumb and the first finger. Close your eyes. And see if you can feel where your hand is by that energy coming out and interacting with your central line. Feel it balancing the energies of the three Dantians. The upper Dantian by your forehead, the middle Dantian by your heart, the lower Dantian by your abdomen. And just do this a few more times as we feel the energies balance out between all three Dantians. One last one, and then finish with one hand over the other, over the lower Dantian. Doesn't matter which hand is on top. Just feel that energy coming out of those palms going into your body. Picture a little pearl that's your lower Dantian absorbing all that energy. Feel that warmth increase. Picture a white light coming in and getting brighter, getting larger. Let the body relax, and rock and sway. As the energy spreads out from that little pearl, spirals down your legs and up your torso. And as it moves through your body, it's dispelling any darkness any stagnation, any blockages. It's removing negative thoughts and emotions until your body is just a glow with a loving, warm light. Now let that energy expand beyond your physical body. Picture it surrounding you in every direction, above and below, on all sides. Just float inside that protective cocoon. Enjoy that feeling of weightlessness. that feeling of being safe. Become aware of what it feels like to be healthy, to be at peace. Take a deep breath in, gather all that energy, all those good feelings, and take them with you for the rest of the day. Thank you.